All right, nice, nice. We've got a good little stack going on here. What's up you guys, in today's video we're gonna go to four of my vending machines. Two of them are at a motel, one of them is at a barber shop, and another one's at a school building, and we're just gonna fill them up and cash them out and see how much money we have. It's already dark out, so we gotta hurry up and see what all we can get done today. I quickly would love to give a shout out to Taylor Brands, the sponsor of today's video, but more on that later. First things first, we're gonna go get some product. I personally get all my product from Sam's Club, that's where I get the cans for my vending machines. Now, I do have a machine that only takes bottles, and when it comes to those, I'll go get that at Walmart. But hey, if you were wondering, that's where I get my product. And for you, that could be HEB, that could be Costco, but it's definitely a lot cheaper to go ahead and buy in bulk at one of these big box stores. Now, something that you may not know you can do is at any of these big box stores, you can go ask to be tax exempt. Just talk to the management and they'll give you a little code you use. You do not have to pay sales tax on these things for your business. So that's another little hack for you that a lot of people don't know about. Now, we can't forget to grab some samples as part of the Sands Club experience, but we're all checked out. Let's go ahead, load up, and head to our first location and our first machine of the day. Gonna go ahead and check out the first machine. And this one's already pretty filled up. I came by last week to fill it up. All I really had to do was move some of the Pepsis over. Just gotta move them over so they're even. Let's go ahead and check out the cash. Machine one, just make a guess how much this is. We're gonna have everything at the end, but what we do have here, sometimes they won't have a lot of cash, but they may have more coins, which I think is the case with this one. This one does have more coins. We'll go ahead and take that out and pour the coins into this box I have. There's two machines at this location, so we're gonna head to the second one that's on the same location. Okay, so we're at the next one. I don't know if you can see it back back there. And this is just the other side of the motel. We moved like less than 500 feet maybe, but there is a couple people in front of this one in that truck and then around the corner. So I'm not gonna be able to talk in front of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the cash out and maybe just film some B-roll so you can see what it's looking like. All right, so we're on to our next machine and we're just gonna check out see what this one needs. It looks like this one needs some sprites. So we're gonna get the sprites and load them up, but let's go ahead and check how much this one made. This is what I was talking about earlier where sometimes they won't have as much dollar bills, but they will have a lot of coins or vice versa. I expect that this one doesn't have as much coins because it has a lot of cash in it. But hey, sometimes they have a lot of cash and coins and that's a good day. I got another Nutri-Grain box that we're gonna throw the coins from this one into and we're gonna go ahead and fill up those sprites too while we're at it. All right, we're all done here. Go ahead and make your guesses for machine number two and now let's head to the barbershop location. This one takes bottles, so like I mentioned earlier, I have to go to Walmart to get the bottles for this one. We're gonna go ahead, get that out the way, load them up, and then I'll see you at the barbershop. So I'm asked all the time about getting vending locations and one of the most successful ways I've had is through my website. I I personally use the sponsor of today's video, Taylor Brands. They make it so easy to get everything set up for your business. That's actually how I started Nava Vending and how I got my logo, business cards, and all. One of the first things you need to do when you set up a business is set up your LLC. This not only allows you to protect all your assets in your LLC in case you get sued, but it also allows you to do tax write-offs. This lowers your tax bill. And having an LLC allows you to open a business bank account, and this allows you to have more access to money through business credit. If you want to do the same, it's easy to get started. Just head over to www.taylorbrands.com. Now back to the machines. So now we're at our third machine. This is my barbershop location and we're gonna go ahead and fill this one up. So the two machines at the motel didn't have a credit card reader, but this one does. And so that's gonna be some of the income from this machine. The one at the next location within the school building also has a credit card reader. We already went ahead and got all the products from Walmart. And these I have to get from Walmart because I haven't been able to find any bottles at Sam's Club and this machine only takes bottled sodas. So I'm always open to suggestions. I might end up ordering in bulk as the business gets more busy, but we're still gonna see, do the math, run the numbers, see what works best. So this is what we're looking like so far. We're still gonna put in some more Cokes, Dr. Peppers, and I'm gonna top these off a little bit more, the Sprites and the Powerades. This is the final product. The coast don't sell out that fast, so I'm not gonna finish that one too high, but the Powerades are always selling out, so this one I made sure to fill the most. Let's go ahead and check how much this one made. All right, we got some cash in there, and remember, we have the card reader too, so let's see. Okay, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good stack. Let's see what the coins are looking like. We got some dimes in here too. So let's go ahead and pull the cash out of this one. Here's what it's looking like. And then let me get the dimes. Here's our dimes. Go ahead and take these with us. This is machine number three. You can go ahead and make a guess for this one. Next location we're gonna head to is my school location. Leave a comment below if you wanna hear about how I got this one. But basically I got contacted by the school district and ended up putting a machine in there. We're starting with one and then expanding to the rest of the school district after. But I just placed this one, so I'm excited to see how the first week did. Now it is like 10 p.m. right now, so the school is closed. So we're gonna do it tomorrow during business hours, which 
For me, it's gonna be overnight, but for you, it's gonna be one second. All right, so it's the next day. We made it to the school. I have one machine placed here. I won't be able to film inside because there's students and teachers walking around, but I'll try to get as many clips as I can. We're gonna be trying out different products, seeing what works best. Something I learned with the school districts is that the products all have to be under the smart snack guidelines. So there is a bunch of rules in regards to the trans fat, saturated fats, calories, all that stuff for the product to be allowed inside a school. So each product I put in this machine took me more time because I had to go through each guideline and make sure it fit so I wouldn't have any problems. There's a lot of small things like that that can be learned throughout this business that I didn't even think of before. So if you think of a question, just leave it down below so I can answer it throughout the video. But we're gonna pop into the school and quick thing, don't forget to subscribe because it is scientifically proven that when you subscribe, your net worth goes up. I mean, look at the graph. You can't argue with the graph. All right, let's go check out how much this is made. So the school is nice and secure. Let's go find our machine. Most machines have this compartment at the bottom where you can keep some extra stuff or anything that you need. At my motel locations, I have tools down there. Just stuff to do small repairs with if I need to. Let's check out the monies. This one has a decent little stack. And it's got some coins in it too, so that's nice. I'm out of the granola bar boxes, so we're gonna just do a bag for this one. I'm in the school bathroom, there's nobody else in here, but I just wanted to tell you real quick that we secured the bag. This is what we got. This is machine four, so go ahead, comment down below, take your guesses at machine four. But I'm also going to include how much the credit card readers made, so stay tuned for that. But let's get to the fun part. Let's go count this money, figure out how much we made, and make your comments for each machine. And don't cheat. We're gonna we're about to count the money. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. We're going to go ahead and put them through the coin counter so we can see exactly how much we made, and I separated it by machine and location. I also had this extra miscellaneous bag that I forgot to cash in from the other day so i'm gonna show that too these are our final numbers in coins for each one but i'm gonna go take them to the teller and we're gonna get the finals for everything coins cash cards included all right so as you guys can see it's already nighttime. we already cashed everything out counted everything up and i have the totals right here and i'm gonna go over them with you and including all the credit card transactions i also got them here so our first location had 77 dollars and 37 cents our second location had 88 dollars and 55 cents our third location was $33.40. Our fourth location was $36.25. And credit card transactions equaled $25.50. So everything all together was $261.07. I did have that miscellaneous one, which was just from another time I forgot to cash out the coins. And that was $25.50. So if you wanna count that, I mean, it's still part of the vending business. That would be $283.57. But without that, again, the total is 261.07, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good week. That's close to $300 a week. I mean, some rental properties get three to $500 a month in cash flow. So I think that's pretty good. But of course, there's always going to be other expenses, but most people have to count gas. I drive an electric vehicle, so I'm not worried about the gas. It's just something to think about. Apart from those vending machines, I also have micro markets. So in this video, we just did the four vending machines. If you want to hear more about the mini markets or have any questions, go ahead and ask them down below. But other than that, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok with quicker short form videos everything is just under my name at brianna nava i appreciate you so much for watching have a good rest of your day and we're out